Hey, Mike. I'm just going to make some notes for you. You can obviously tell me what you want. These are my recommendations. Uh, these floors are totally ruined. So I think, and it smells real bad. So, um, you know, these floors are no good. So I think we should put in and just rip these laminate floors out, put some new laminate floors in. Uh, unfortunately as well your cabinets now, your countertops seem okay there's a few little marks there nothing major though I think your sink your faucet your countertops are good but your cabinets are in pretty rough shape um, somebody screwed all kinds of holes in them and these pieces of wood and stuff you know and the, the doors are ripped off of that one this one it's like all dilapidated and you can see that somebody's jimmy rigged something with tape, right? Uh, your fridge, uh, we should be able to clean it. You look inside. The ice is really overflowing. I think that somebody's just turned it way too cold. I think that's all that that is. I don't know. It's on the warmest setting, but it's covered in ice. But whatever. So... My honest, my honest assessment of that is we keep the countertops. You buy one, two, three, four new cabinets from Rona. They sell them pre-built for like 150 bucks a cabinet. So, you know, you're looking at $600 for brand new cabinets and then they're pretty easy to install, right? And then a new light fixture, just like maybe a nice kind of light there. Um, this thing's not giving off hardly any light at all. So I don't know, we'll look into that if it just needs a new bulb or if we need to just put a brighter light there because it's extremely dim in here. Um, and your your walls, so that's the biggest thing is we just gotta do a lot of drywall repair near the ceiling to scrape off the ugly little glow stickers, you know, fix the cracks. You can see along the ceiling there, you have some lifting on the ceiling, we can retape that. Um, it's nothing major. But st certainly stuff that should be done. And I could go pick out some real sexy new laminate floors for like a buck fifty a square foot or something like that. That'll look great. And we'll keep the baseboards, uh, obviously, and just repaint them and caulk them. And then just reinstall the, the, the quarter round once the, once the uh, laminate is reinstalled. Okay. Um, obviously, the doors and trim need a little bit of attention. Uh, as you can see, we can sand and clean that up and repaint it all. The bathroom's not bad, uh, I would say. It's pretty good. I want to put in a wood kick plate. Um, that fiberboard stuff is just going to continue to swell over and over and over again and will forever look like crap. So if we put in an actual piece of wood and paint it and then caulk it properly, I think that would actually um, last much longer and look nice. And we'll have it kind of wrap around to the right at the end where those tiles have fallen off right there. Okay, uh, it looks scary in the camera, but it's no big deal. It's not mold and everything. It's actually nothing. Um, it's just dirty. So we'll put a piece of trim there as well just to clean it up. You've got a couple of tiles right here that are loose, like literally about to fall off. So we could just buy a couple of scraps, fill that in, uh, cut them to fit, install them, and then we'll re all the way along here and everywhere and clean that all up. So the whole shower is in really good shape. Everything's fine. But yeah, we're just going to have to silicone and clean up, scrape off the old stuff, make it nice. All right. The toilet and all that seems okay. Just a little bit of drywall repair from whatever they had up here to hang. We're going to fill the holes, paint the walls a nice color, clean that vent because it's gross, and put a better light fixture in here. You hardly see anything. For like 50 bucks at Ikea, we could buy a nice light it has like four or five directional lights on it that we could shine into the shower on the vanity, the toilet, and really brighten this up, make it look a lot sexier. But the vanity and the, the countertop and everything, it looks like it's in pretty good shape as far as I'm concerned. Um, so that's the long and short of it, Mike. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, bye.